So in this video, I'd like to examine how full waters work in Shadows of Doubt. So for this demonstration, I have an arrest job, and I have a phone number, and I'd like to find out to which apartment this leads. So the first thing I want to do is I go to a diner, then use the phone inside. You can also do this on a phone inside an apartment building. However, a diner makes it a bit easier, and I'll show you in a moment why. Okay, first I dial in the number. Now nobody's going to take the phone because they've already done the mission, so nobody, nobody will answer. So we can hang up. And it's not necessary for somebody to answer. Now to access the phone route of this building, you have to go into a shack behind a diner. And it's easier to get to the diner phone router than in an apartment building because there's less security. And the phone route is usually in a box like this. <clears throat> okay, so we need to check the outgoing tab. And there's two calls. Now it's 5.12 on a Friday, January 6th. And it's this call. So, as you can see here, from Adams Americana, that's the diner, to Augustine Parks. And the way phone routers work in this game is that when you make a call from a building and you access the phone route of that building, then you get the exact location of from where you called from. However, the target building, you only get the name of the building. Now, in this case, it doesn't show an apartment because it's the diner phone. Okay, now we go to Augustine Parks. Waypoint. Let's go there. Phone routers and apartment buildings are always in the basement, the first basement floor. And this is what the door looks like. And it says power room, which is slightly misleading because there's currently no power systems you can interact with in basements. Okay. Okay, now we need to check for incoming calls. You can see here, that's my call. It came from Adams Americana and it went to 1602 Augustine Parks. And this is how you find the apartment. <clears throat> 